started here. Adam Cole's up first. Take it away, Adam. Larry, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. What's going on? How much? Um, I just kind of wanted to ask, now that you've had a couple days and a chance to look at film, um, what in particular stood out to you about your performance from Saturday, good or bad? Um, uh, I should have scored on the uh, wheel down in the low red. We didn't really don't, we didn't really uh, score in the low red, and we gotta definitely correct that. I mean, I'm just, I don't want to just talk about you know me like I mean, Beatty, Beatty had a, had a couple of runs that were good. Dawson got in there a little bit. Sean used his legs a little bit. Jalen had a nice uh, uh, slant route and ran up. It was good. Everything was good, man. It was just. Um, we didn't take care of business in the low red, but I think I did pretty good. I, did, I think I did all right. I, I could do more, you know. You know, you know. Obviously, we didn't win, so it wasn't enough. So I just think I need to build, you know, every game, win or lose, you know. But like winning, obviously, you when you when you uh, take take away that game or win, then you still. I still think that I could do more, like as far as like just in the offense, like with, with the carries that I get. So I just do more, man. I just feel I can just, I just need to do more. And uh, every carry I get, I need to at least get it in the low rate. I'm need to score basically. Dave Matters up next, go ahead. Larry, when, when you got a, a team with quarterbacks that haven't played a lot in this program, you got new receivers, how, how much personally do you put on your shoulders to, to be that guy for this team this year, a guy who's done it before in this league and, and wants to do it again? I mean, honestly, like, like my mindset going out there, regardless of, you know, who we play, whatever, like, it's to run hard, you know, no matter what the circumstance is. So whenever I get the ball, I just run my my, um, my butt off for the team and just try to get as much power regard as possible and just run for my teammates, and that's about it. I mean, running hard, you know, that's that's one thing I take personally, regards of the contact, not letting one person take you down. So I just – my mindset and my goal is to run hard every play. Mitch, 40, Power Mizzou, you're up. Larry, not talking specifically about Saturday, but just generally, um, just does the way this offense uses its receivers kind of in the run game and, and to get the ball out to them quickly on the perimeter, does that help open things up for a running back at all? Oh, yeah, it does, most definitely, because, like, when you got guys like Dom and you got Jalen, you got Dane on those routes that we run, it, it opens up because then the, the secondary is tired and, then after that, you know, they don't want to tackle. And then from there, it's uh, one man I, I got to beat. You know, I got to do better on my beating the safety. But, yeah, I think it does open up a lot, actually. Next up is Peter Ball from The Athletic. Go ahead. Yeah, Larry, in your, your years here, there's always kind of been, like, one quarterback who's the guy. And this year, Drinkwitz has kind of talked about how it might be a little more two people getting meaningful reps. How does that kind of change things for the offense? Um, I mean, you got two different guys. You know, Sean's going to use his legs and throw. You know, I say he kind of plays like Patrick Mahomes a little bit, but runs a little bit more. And um, base, base like he's more of a sit in the pocket guy and throw. He did score, though. So I just think you got two different guys that can throw and run. And I just feel I just feel that when, when we play both of those guys, the defense don't know what they're getting. So at the end of the day, it does help our offense. Uh, so we should try Kansas City Star, go ahead. I remember at the beginning of camp, you said uh, Drink, Drink's offense was definitely pretty aggressive. I guess, how, how, how have you kind of seen that, you know, not just in schemes, but also like going foot on fourth down in other ways? Um, just see, he, he's, he, he wants to take chances. He knows that we can make the play. So I, I'm, I'm, he has confidence in us that we can make those plays. When we get to third and one and fourth and one, he'll, he knows, he has supreme confidence that, we gonna execute and get the first down, and after that, continue on. But it's actually I knew he was aggressive coming in because of how like his play calling is and stuff like that. But I just have supreme confidence, you know, down the road. Eric Blum, Columbia Tribune. Hey, Larry, I almost have to ask because you're wearing the letters. What does being an Omega Sci-Fi and uh, being in that fraternity kind of help you with football, or how does one relate to the other? <laughs> I help man. It, 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 a lot of men that have uh, been my mentors were men of old, were brothers of Vegas South Fraternity Incorporated. So, uh, root to the good brothers. But I just want to say that it, it means a lot. It's helped me a lot. You know, it helps me become a better man, a better person. 
and understand a couple of things, but it means a lot, man. I'm glad I'm a part of the fraternity. Is there anybody else on the team that's in the chapter? Yeah, um, me, Joshua Blesso, Daniel Parker, um, Tyree Gillespie, and Christian Holmes. Christian's at o Ohio, though. I mean, I mean Oklahoma State University. But yeah, all of us are in it. Kyle Pinnell, you're up next. Hi, Larry. Uh, this game against Tennessee on Saturday is your first road game of the season, and I'm kind of curious. Obviously, it will be a road trip that um, will be different than it has been um, has been in the past. But how, as players, do you guys go about trying to develop a routine, and what do you think some of the most challenging aspects will be this season? I think the most challenging, you know, again, it's COVID, but, it, you know, we just got to be cautious on the road, mask up and take care of the little things because, you know, this is our first road trip. So we just got to be very careful with, you know, who we're around because, you know, again, like we're going to be around flight attendants. We're going to be around different people in the hotel. So we just got to be cautious of who we, who we associate with in the hotel from, from when we get there and when we leave. But, I mean – at the end of the day, I mean, the only thing we can do is just mask ups and just keep social distance while we're there. But I would say just dealing with COVID is just probably a main concern. But that's going to be for the whole, I don't know how long, years from now. But I'll just say COVID is, you know, just a big issue. But, I mean, it's, at the end of the day, we're going to have to learn to adapt to it. So. It looks like last one for Larry will be Dan Matter. Post this Go ahead. Hey. Larry, one of the first things Eli said after the game the other night was that he's got to feed you more. When, you're, when your head coach can admit that, how, how does it make you feel? What's your reaction? Good, man. Um, I'm glad he has confidence that, you know, I can run the ball, you know. Um, it makes me feel that, you know, the carries that I got, I made the best of them. You know, it wasn't more of a – of, you know, Larry didn't really run that hard. You know, I always try to run my hardest. Like, wherever game we play, I play, I run, I run hard. But it, it, it makes me feel good. But it makes me, you know, just understand that, you know, I got a load that I got to carry when I run the ball. So it just gives me more things I need to get better on. Okay. I'll do it for Larry. Thank you very much, Larry. Right. We got Don Jacinto in the room here, too. Once Larry, hey, Larry, get back. Thank you. Thank you. No, I think that's Sean. I think that's Sean. Oh, it's Sean Davis. Yeah, this is. Oh, that is huge. Oh, that's not Sean. That's not Sean.